To all who shall see these presents greetings, this is to certify that the President of the United States of America has awarded the National Security Medal to Lieutenant General Lincoln D. Farr, United States Air Force retired, for outstanding contribution to the national intelligence effort given under my hand in the city of Washington the 6th day of August, 1985. The following, the citation follows. The President of the United States takes pleasure in awarding the National Security Medal to Lincoln D. Farr, Lieutenant General, United States Air Force, retired for exemplary performance of duty and distinguished service as the Director, National Security Agency from April 1, 1981 through March 31, 1985. General Farr displayed inspired leadership and unwavering devotion to duty while directing and guiding the complex, highly technical, and worldwide mission of the National Security Agency to unprecedented levels of success and thereby contributing significantly to the national security goals of the United States. During a period of revolutionary technological change, expanding foreign intelligence operations and expanding requirements for timely and accurate intelligence information, General Farr's combined experience, foresight, and uncommon leadership ability ensured that the nation's most sophisticated intelligence systems were ready to meet the challenge. His reputation as an innovator and intelligence professional is acknowledged and regarded as of the highest caliber within the intelligence community and throughout the highest levels of the United States government. General Farr's exceptional achievements and contributions reflect great credit upon himself and the national security establishment of the United States and merit the award of the National Security Medal. I've been told I've got to go back to work. See, we made everything bloom very pretty just Oh, yes. Yeah. It's a very lovely day. But those are not cherry trees. <laughs> yeah, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. 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 Good morning.
We're both going to your chair. I just want to Good morning, gentlemen. Minister. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you. Secretary of Defense. Appreciate it. Good morning. 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 Good just so we stay out of their way when they walk in. Oh, I'll keep it silent. Okay. Everything will be all right. Yes. Sherpas have worked closely together and, and well, and I believe that it's essential that at the coming summit, the political declaration is solidarity between us will help those who are trying to negotiate arms reductions in Geneva. But that's enough for me now, Mr. Prime Minister. Prime Minister Nakasone and I have just completed two days of discussions on bilateral and global issues. Our meeting has reaffirmed my conviction that the close relationship between us is of immense importance for our two peoples. Here at the White House, we had, as always, much to talk about. In discussing relations between the United States and the Soviet Union, including and the defense of Japan. As you can imagine, the state of U.S.-Japan trade relations was a major topic during our meeting. And I told the Prime Minister, we agreed on the necessity to continue to intensify efforts to expand trade through better market access. The Prime Minister informed me that he is dedicated to fulfilling Japan but are committed to a national goal of reducing Japan's trade surpluses. The Prime Minister meant fundamental policy changes and I applauded the Prime Minister's commitment to leading his nation toward an economic future, particularly of manufactured and other high-value-added goods. 
In a similar spirit, I committed my administration to these relevant ministers to pull together a broad group of high-level officials to discuss structural economic issues of mutual concern. We will continue work on We discussed a number of other regional topics focusing on Asia and shared in particular our thoughts on the progress that Japan has become the second largest donor of economic assistance worldwide. Our governments will continue close consultations to increase the effectiveness of our individual contributions. The Prime Minister and I agree that we both have complex potential of this unique bilateral relationship is mutual understanding and close cooperation. Together, there is nothing we cannot accomplish. And I might add that that was the spirit of our discussion during these past two days. a historic turn and I am determined to accept the challenge. The President wholeheartedly welcomed this approach. At the same time, I hope that other countries welcome the agreement reached yesterday to hold the bilateral dialogue of high officials on structure on a global basis with adequate consideration to the Asian region. In our discussions on regional issues, the Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. President, when are you going to decide whether you're going to do about Gaddafi? Well, I think that's a question that we need to ask our One more. Yes. <laughs> 